Hello there, and welcome back to Silent Hill Downpour. When we left off, we broke our weapon. We also climbed up some kind of furniture mountain down here to this wall. We found a map as well over there. We're about to climb through and see what's on the other side. I'm not looking forward to this, considering I don't have a weapon, really, but it is what it is. Right, okay. We've got to find one. That's my uh, main objective, really. Right, okay, what do we have around here? We do have our torch. I feel like I'm about to throw that like an idiot. <laughs> what? We can look behind us. I didn't even know that was a thing. Right, okay. It's taken me this long to figure that out. Right, okay, we've got a first aid kit. I mean, I suppose I could pick up a chair. And that will have to do. Though I don't think we're going to be able to balance with a chair in hand. And luckily it's not going to make us. Something's laughing. It's that thing. It's one of the dolls. That's what it is. Confusing me. You demon. Okay. I like this balance board the least so far. If we could just cross naturally, that'd be great. Oh god, there's another one. Okay, we've still got our chair. That's a good sign. Okay, if we could stop falling, that'd be great. Right, okay, let me pass. Let me pass. Why is the laughing getting more intense? Right, we've made it. Uh, my, my radio is going a little bit crazy. I get the feeling we're going to be fighting one of those doll creatures in a second. Uh, uh, all right now. Listen, I've got a chair and I'm not afraid to use it. However, I am a tiny bit, actually. Pistol bullets. Nice. Yes, I went, yeah. Oh. No. Where are you, villain? Okay, something is hitting me. You're right there. And these chairs aren't particularly good as a weapon. I can't see. Okay, I'm gonna punch you. Um, <laughs> this is not good. Something's pick up there. What is that? Brick? Oh, crowbar. That'll do. That will do. Take that. Take that, you dull creature. Right, cool. We've got a weapon. I'm healed. I still can't figure out how to turn my light on, even though we've been doing that this whole time. Equip. Why is it not working? Am I just being stupid? Maybe I've run out of batteries. What is happening right now? Aha! Right, okay, no, I was just being an idiot. I was right. But why is it a normal flashlight? What happened to our black light? That's not good. What else is pick up a bull there? Another crowbar. Okay. I'll take the new one, I suppose. Right, okay, that's kind of annoying that it's taken our uh, black light away from us. I don't know why that is the case. Surely we'll be able to find another one, though. We've been able to find multiples of everything else. Something's still whispering. There's a ladder. Hello. I'm not picking up or using any more chairs, so don't you even think. For a second. That's what we're going to do. Hello. Yeah, let's check this room out properly first. So I'm not walking past anything. Right, okay. It doesn't look like there's anything here. Right, let me in. He says. And then he sees Creepy Doll immediately. Right, there we go. That's how it's done. Oh, they're still alive. Okay, now that's how it's done. No, there's more. Where? Does this mean there's another doll somewhere? There is, right there. 
I'm coming for you. You porcelain mess. The charge attack for the finish. Right, these dolls are horrible. I don't like them. What's the wheelchair doing stuck here for? That's better. Cut that noise out, please. There's blood bags on the front of it. What was that all about? At least I thought that's what they were. Hmm. Curious. Okay, what are you? Nothing. Nothing of note. Right, so I guess we're gonna have to check down this ladder. I don't. The lift must be working now, but that just takes us down to where we were earlier, doesn't it? I assume. Right, let's check the ladder first of all. God, we walk so slowly. I can't believe it's taking my black light. That's so not cool. Something's still whispering. Also not cool. Right, I'm going to climb down. Hopefully it's the right move. But there's probably monsters down here again as well. There always is. Right, hello. Right, okay, so we're in a hallway. Is this familiar or not? Uh, so far, no. No. Creatures. Okay, I think we're alright. Anything at the desk? It looks like something. Pick up. Slides. Oh, is that for the real room? I thought that we were going to get a reel for that. But I guess that kind of makes sense. Does this drawer open? It does. What is that? Information. Uh, how do we zoom again? There we go, that's the one. Dr. Wayne Sarah. Warden Glenn Milton. Subject... Psychological evaluation, uh, probationary, hearing prelim, okay. Blank is male, 43 years old. He is serving a, who knows how many, year sentence for a multiple felony accounts, including third degree murder and sexual assault of a child below the age of 14. Awful. He appears to be in satisfactory physical health. The prisoner is currently being considered for probation. After multiple sessions with the prisoner, I have concluded that he does not suffer from any psychotic or psych uh, physical disorders. Rather, he has shown continually to have an, il an inordinate interest in young children. Okay, this is horrible. Uh, and manifest significant predatory traits. As a result, I feel he poses an, in an imminent danger to the community and should be released from custody and is therefore a poor candidate for probation. So is this the... The guy that we attacked in the shower, I'm assuming this is him. It's got to be, surely. Okay. Um, We found a kite earlier on, and he was talking about his son. So I'm kind of putting links uh, together with that at the moment. That's where my mind's going. Um. Not that I can remember his name. <laughs> There's no easy way to look up the information there in our note, in our journal. Right, okay, so we've got slides. Now, what do we do? We we'll probably have to go down the lift to get to the other side again. I would say it was something, something Murphy, obviously, or well, something Pendleton. Sorry, our name's Murphy. Charlie, was it? Maybe. Possibly. Right, okay, so slide room. I guess is our uh, move here. I mean, the one good thing about the black light being changed from our inventory is the fact that it is slightly easier to see with a regular torch. Oh, we've got both. What in the heck? Oh. I was just being a dumbass. That's cool. I like that. Well, it's limited options, I will say. We can go to 18, I guess. But we'll go and put the slides in first, I suppose. 
Um, which floor was it on though? So we'll, go, we'll go to two. Let's go to two. See what happens. That was a very quick elevator ride. Really quick. Right, okay. Um, what I was going to do is check my inventory and see how many medikits we have. We have nine. Right, okay, let me check the map though. Um, projector room, where art thou? Video archives, just to the right. That's easy enough. Floor 2 was the right way to go, sure. Oh yes, the slow, slow moving rooms. I forgot about these. It's a bit weird, I don't understand why they do that. Oh yeah, this safe thing as well. I have no idea what the code for that is though. Um, can we... Oh, we've got to put it in from the front, I believe. Right, okay. Slides. A series of slides. Okay, we are kind of in the way. What am I seeing here? Is it show? What is it showing? Is that one? I'm confused. I'm confused. Which which one's technically the first slide? That's got a three, so maybe that's the third one. So what's that? Nine. Six. One. Th that's got to mean three. So is, no, is, is that a code? Is that a safe, maybe? Hmm. I'm a little bit confused. We'll go and try it. If not, we'll come back. I mean, it's no big deal. Hopefully it doesn't electrocute us or anything like that. Yeah, I think that's the wrong wrong way, is it not? I have maybe already forgotten what the code is. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Uh, wait a second. The, oh, this isn't like a clock face. Um, what's that? Nine, eight... But it's supposed to be six, isn't it? Uh, then one. There we go. Boom. There's claw marks on this. Are we sure we want to open this? <laughs> claw marks is never usually a good sign. At least we have a crowbar. It could be worse. Ooh, that's grisly. It's not the prisoner. ID card. What was that all about? So what's it gonna be, Murphy? And when you're gonna play ball? With all your hard work for nothing. I mean, the way I see it, it's sort of a win-win situation, right? Guys like Napier, they've got no business breathing the same air as you and me, right? Now, the courts and the bleeding hearts out there insist we sequester guys like him away from the general population for their safety. Can you believe that shit? For their safety. Let me ask you this. What about Charlie's safety, huh? Charlie. So this is how it's gonna work. I'll give you access to Napier. Make sure you get some quality time with that worthless sack of shit. I'll see to it no one finds him till I've had a chance to scrub the place down. Keep you in the clear. But in exchange, you're gonna owe me a favor. Think you can do that for me, sport? What's the favor? <laughs> of course you can. I know you're a man of your word, Murphy. You be a straight shooter with me, I'll be a straight shooter with you. Hmm. Remember, Captain, you 
you owe me one. What do we owe you, though? Oh, now it's back to normal. All right, okay. Curious. Oh, there's a book here. Uh, annual employee review, George Sewell. Corrections officer, 20 years of service. Areas of concern. There have been numerous reports from prisoners and fellow corrections officers that officer, officer Sewell maintains suspicious contact and or relationships with certain prisoners under his care. There have also been allegations of abuse of power by Officer Sewell, including physical threats. Officer Sewell adamantly denies these charges, or these claims, sorry. Um, conclusion, until further investigation is conducted into the various cha uh, charges against Officer Sewell, promotion and or merit wage increase cannot be approved at this time. Positive contributions to the team. Officer Sewell had a perfect work attendance throughout the entire review period and consistently reports to his duty... Uh, reports... Yeah, reports to his duties in a punctual fashion. Okay. Interesting. Anything else to read? No. Right, so we've got an ID card. Is that radio still going? On or off, it still makes noise. Strange. Okay. Sewell. Right, so yeah, that Napier certainly did something to our son by the sounds of things. Right, okay, so we're going to have to go to the... Well, the only place I know to go is to the top floor in the lift. I don't know where the ID card goes, though. Hello? As far as I'm aware, I don't need to go anywhere else here. Right, okay, let's give it a try. Er, uh, what's it asking me for there? It let me press a button before. It? Oh, elevator, elevator ID card to access restricted floors. Ah, okay. Boom. Right, okay. So this is the radio tower. No. Some ghastly. Breathing going on here. Uh huh. See, this is what we're after. Okay, I like a quick save. That's nice. That is nice. Are we actually going to meet this dude then? Uh, something tells me no. Why is that all smashed in? I'm going to check the place out before we. Uh... Can I open the fridge? I can. Beer? No, more. Right, thank you. For my part, I know nothing with any certainty. But just the sight of the stars makes me dream. Okay. I like that guy. He's chill. Oh. That, my brothers and sisters, was another rock and roll classic coming to you courtesy of DJ Ricks on this fine afternoon. Weatherman says there's a storm coming our way to spoil the fun. So batten down the hatches and snuggle up under the blanket with the one you love. Because it's going to be a rough ride. And speaking of rough rides, we got another dedication going out to my man with the plan. Murphy Pendleton. Somebody out there has got an eye on you, MP. So watch your back and keep it on track. Okay. Hey, man, come on in. Got a disc spinning right now, so you ain't interrupting nothing. <laughs> Man, you look like you just saw a ghost or something. You all right? Not really, no. Good to hear. So what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you? Uh, Murphy Pendleton? Like I was saying, what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you, Murphy? Got a track you want to play, or...? I'm the guy you've been putting out the dedications for. I got the message. I came to find you. Afraid you got the wrong man, Murphy. I don't know what you're talking about. But if there's a song you want to hear or a dedication you want to make, I could. You're listening to the DJ Rick Show on WLMN-FM, where the tracks are tight and the sweet melodies flow on and on. It's always a perfect day with DJ Rick's your on-air friend to the end. Look, man. I came through hell and high water to get here because you called me. Now cut the bullshit, because I don't have time for this. Chill out, man. 
If you don't keep your voice down, you're going to get us both in trouble. Mm. You do not want that. You don't know who might be listening. You understand? Thank God someone finally heard me. I, I can't even tell you how long it's been. Just spinning record after record after record. Hoping someone. What the hell's going on here, Rix? What is this place? No time to explain. If we're going to get out of here, we got to move fast. You get this far, tells me you might. Might even have a chance of getting out alive. What's the plan? Right. Listen, I got this boat. She's more down at the marina. She's fast, real fast. Probably miss some motherfucker ransack the studio and check the keys. I'll hotwire it. No problem. Uh, hmm. That's not gonna work. This place, it, it does strange shit to reality, man. It's like there's rules you gotta gotta follow. You, you know what I mean? Bobby Ricks. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Who's it going out to? But I, uh, that's that's nice of you to think of me. Yeah, real nice. Thank you. Uh -oh. They're coming. Who? Does it matter? We gotta find those keys. The on the silver chain says freedom. You can't. This, um. Pendleton. Put the gun down, damn it. We might have a way out of here. You. I need to use your phone. Sorry, lady. Calls come in, but don't go out. Just because folks want to be heard, don't mean they're willing to listen. See for yourself. What the hell's going on around here? No! What's going on? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Right. So did they just get nicked? <laughs> They've been stolen. Right, okay, so we're looking for a key ring. There's blood. Uh-oh. There's blood. Right, okay, so I'm guessing we're looking for a keychain. He was saying that said freedom on it. Hello? Villains from outside. What's the red here? I don't trust that. I'm gonna go and check back on myself first. Mind you, it's pretty red over here, too. Blood. Follow the blood. You know what we probably could do? Aha. Right, this has got something going on. Is that wheelchair marks again? Weird. We saw a man in a wheelchair going towards the freight elevator earlier on. What? Wait a second, that says something there. What does that say? Point of no return, potentially. Okay, but can we not go over here? It kind of looks like we'd be able to. I'm going to assume no. For now. And what we didn't check, though. Please don't shut on me, please, Dull. Please. Is over this way. And there is clearly nothing here, so it was pointless. Right, okay. So we go through to the other way. That's fine. As long as we know where we're going, that is the main thing. I still have my crowbar of justice, so we should be relatively safe. Alright, that tells me... Once we... There was a noise of, like, iron bars moving there. What was that? Open inventory. Huh? What's it want here? That is a bit confusing. There's a big pile of clothes. I was assuming for a second it might be lit on fire. Okay. Let's get our eyeballs working here. That is something. What is this? Dilutant. Oh, there is a medikit there. Thank you. Beating that later. Little bento box filled with health. No, that's not the right thing. I'm guessing this goes here. We are starting a fire, I think.
For some reason. Lighter? Um. Oh, for God's sake, not this thing again. Oh, God. Not again. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Well, you can get sucked up by that machine. Right, let me through. I don't like the black hole of death. Uh, I missed that uh, thing. I hope that's not going to get me killed because of that. There's a car there. I'm hoping I didn't pick the wrong way. Come on, he can't get me there, surely. Listen, black hole of death! What's this happening here? Manual override. What the? Oh, you can only see it in the mirror. That's weird. Okay. He's there. Oh, we can't go through. We're back here again. Come on, damn you. Close. Okay, he should be stuck behind that door. I'm guessing he's going to suck the door, clean off the hinges. I don't like this. This is like a very, very aggravated version of the black hole situation in Silent Hill 3, for sure. Where are we right now? That car looked pretty dangerous. Uh, I'm going this way. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I am literally just running for my life. Eat that, literally. No! I gave you a meal! Okay, press the button. Get in there. Exit this way. Everything's upside down now. There's tracks. What's happening right now? I'm so confused. Like, genuinely so confused. He sounds like he's miles away, though. I'm going to take it. Great. I don't know why I'm talking about the black hole as if it's an entity, by the way. Okay, this, this sounds very Silent Hill in this location, for sure. Um. Okay. You. That was the guy. Where are we going? That's me. It was me. It totally was me. Couldn't be. Prison? I bet he's missing prison at this point. He's got to be. What am I looking at here? That one's empty. I mean, this is a fancy way of getting from A to B, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. The water treatment. I see how it is. Ouch. Looks like my stop. <laughs> like it or not? Yes. No! This is a hungry thing. Okay, let's keep going. 
No! You, so you can't catch up with me that fast, that's not cool. Uh, he tore a hole in the floor. Not a fan. I'm going in. Exit. Sounds too good to be true. Who are you? Hello. Well, goodbye. Oh my god. Okay, that's bad for my health. I should have known! I could think there was a health kit there. I'm just running for it. Listen, if you could stop doing that, that'd be great. Okay. I feel like we've just gone around in a circle for no reason. I think we have just gone around in a circle for no reason. Yeah, because there's the empty health kit space. Great. Okay, do your thing. Not twice. Uh, can we go in any of these? No. Okay. We are pretty beaten up after that. Oh, there's a thing. Oh, no, not again. I've used up quite a few medikits here. Oh, hello there, demon woman. Okay, you're going to make me run past you. No! Don't hit me when you're stunned. That's just not cool. Okay. Okay, what is this? What's this do? Oh, the whole room's turning. Right, okay. Uh, I don't like the spinning blades there. Uh, can I go through the door, please? Thank you. There's a clock hand. This is all getting very confusing. Uh, this is going to be more difficult than I thought. Okay, does that work? Okay. Where are we going now? I'm going to go to the middle. And then figure this stuff out. Right, okay. What's it asking me to do here? Oh, don't like that very much. Okay. Yeah, if we can straighten ourselves up a little bit. This would be the worst. Okay, it stopped us somewhere. Don't you dare, Murphy, now is not the time. Okay. This is a lot longer than the first segment we were uh, in. What is happening here? There's a lot of themes of time. And water. And blades. Not particularly a fan of that. Okay, we made it through one. That was incredibly dangerous. Uh, I've just dropped my uh, weapon of choice. Alright, so it goes three and then slams. Alright, we made it. What is that? Shotgun shells. We haven't even got a shotgun. But I will take it. I mean, this doesn't look much better. Right, I'm through. Okay. Ron Murphington. There's the wheelchair man again. I see you. Who are you? Oh, not this old trick. Oh god. Now we've seen this before. Right, there's the police lady. Uh, we don't want to hit the blades, that would be a bad move. Murphy!
Now, now what? Murphy! Murphy! Where'd you go? Oh, God. Help me! Help! Murphy, run! Uh oh. Okay, so we're getting more glimpses into what Murphy was about then. It was definitely his son, it's gotta be. Judging by the imagery we were just shown. That was horrible. Funny place to take a nap, sir. You know you could get your death out here. If you're not careful. Got something for you. Hmm. From St. Maria's, the old orphanage up there on the hill. No. This can't be right. Got your name on it, doesn't it? Seems plenty right to me. Of course, you won't know till you open it, will you? No. Enough of this shit. No. I'm done. I'm finished with the riddles, the mind games. Whatever I did to get here, I've had enough. I want out. Do you understand me? Do you? Son, you still don't get it. It doesn't matter what you want. As for me, <laughs> I got mail to deliver. Goodbye, Murphy. Weird. Right, okay. It seems we are now out of that area. What the heck is that? That's a trash can, it's okay. Right, so we're gonna leave the episode there, I think, because that was a that was a long area. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you've liked this one. If you have, like and subscribe. Think about clicking that bell icon if you want updates as and when new episodes come out. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.